And as we look at our rainfall totals across the RGV for this year, we have set at around 13 to 14 inches of rain so far in Brownsville, Harlingen, McAllen there. So you go up to about 14.42 inches of rain when we're usually supposed to see around six and seven inches of rain. So we are in excess of that yearly rainfall total, all thanks to the recent rains that we received. And as we look at those seven day rain chances, we could expect to see another round of uh, some showers and storms later on this afternoon, but it's going to be very isolated across the valley and across the lower valley. And then after that, we're going to be high and dry across the area as we are going to see uh, those conditions remain mostly just a bit on the muggy and warm side. So as you look at future clouds and radar, we could see some of that shower activity just near our coastal areas as we head into the around the 2 o'clock to 3 p.m. hours. Even though it's going to be more isolated, that doesn't mean that one of these stray storms won't pack a punch. So we could see some strong uh, storm activity with any isolated uh, activity that does flare up later on this afternoon. So keep that that in mind. This is going to be mainly for the lower valley. It's not going to be as widespread as what we saw yesterday, but then overnight lows dropping into the 70s, clear skies in the overnight hours. So as we look at Texas, mostly clear and of course calm, there is a bit of that disturbance that's over the Gulf of Mexico. But for the next seven days, we're going to have this high pressure system that's going to be building in across uh, Texas and across the Gulf of Mexico. That ultimately is going to be the responsible for keeping us very warm across the area. So keep that in mind if you are out and about later on this week that you're going to want to stay hydrated if you are outdoors because we're going to see those highs in the upper 90s with heat index or feels like temps in the hundreds in some locations. So a hot outlook through the end of our weekend or end of our week into the next weekend and then just mostly sunny. Might see a disturbance move through later on on Friday and Saturday that could bring some short showers, but we're just going to remain a bit on the quieter side for starting tomorrow and lasting through the end of our work week. For your seven day forecast, expect those temperatures to remain a bit on the cooler side and I say cooler loosely because we're going to be in the low 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday and then ultimately by Thursday. That's where we're going to see those upper 90 degree temps with overnight lows in the 70s there. So hot conditions in store for us. So of course enjoy these cooler temperatures while we have them as we are going to see it feeling much more like an RGV summer going into starting tomorrow through the next seven days and lasting through this next weekend.